Hey friends, hope you did well. In this video, I'd like to show you two options how we can use open source large language models for free. The first one is uh, using the Hugging Face API. So that means we just call the API and use a model which is hosted on Hugging Face to get the response. And a second option is just running the mo model locally. So let's get into that. At first, let's get started with the Inference API, meaning we call a model which is hosted on Hugging Face Hub. For that, I need my Hugging Face API token, which just means that you need to sign up at Hugging Face for free. You can do that. And then if you go under the settings for your account, you can take a look at your token and then just copy the token from there. So after doing this, I want to import a few dependencies, so operating system, and I will also import .env, so from .env. I want to import load.env to load my environment variables, which I will call them here, like load.env. So now I can call them or save them, and I do this by OS, in this case, .environ.get, in this case, and I simply uh, call here uh, hugging, face, hugging Face API token. So that's how I spell it. Basically, I have um, file in here and uh, under this I have this name and and set this name equal to or under this name I have stored my my hugging face token that's it you can also of course say that your hugging face API token is equal uh, to something that would also work okay so um, that's my token so um, having this I can actually say this is my HFT so my hugging face token is this okay so I get my token and now let's actually call this and by the way, actually, you do not probably do not in, even need to save it, the Hugging Face token here, because um, if you save it as a local variable, then Hugging Face Hub will automatically get it if you use long-chain integration. So, but having said that, let's do let's continue. So we, now we have uh, that, and then of course from long-chain, we're going to use long-chain framework. So you need to install it if you don't have it already. Dot LLMs. I want to import not OpenAI, but instead the free ones, which means Hugging Face. In this case, the hub, and then also the C transformers library, transformers for our local model later on. Formers, like that. Okay. So, not this one, this one. Okay. So, we got these two, and then uh, actually, let's import the chain. So, like from uh, long chain, long chain dot chains, import the simple large language model chain, so LLM chain. And then also let's use a prompt. So let's say from longchain dot prompts prompts import uh, prompt template. So let's import the import the prompt template. Here we go. Okay, so we got this as well. And now let's actually do our uh, template. Our template actually is quite simple. We should just say uh, template template is equal to, and let's say we have a question. So that's our question question, and then. Uh, we simply put in here a question like that okay that's just question of course you can prime your your large language model in some way so you're a helpful assistant or you know something about xyz you're an expert in xyz and so on that would also work but we keep it quite simple here okay so we now got the template and now let's actually use this template so uh, in this case let's set our prompt our prompt uh, prompt is equal to and let's say in this case uh, it's a prompt template and the template is a template, input variables is a question, that is fine. So now we can save this in here and we get our prompt itself. And now, of course, we need the large language model. So LLM is equal to, and now from Hugging Face Hub, we're going to use a specific repo and there are various repos we can use. Let's use a Cephir uh, or Cephir. I'm not sure whether I pronounce it correctly, but that's one of the latest models. And I actually think it's pretty good. So let's use this one. And let me just copy it because I already have saved it. Otherwise, you can go to Hugging Face and just take a look at the repository ID, but it is this one. You can also use this one directly if you want. And uh, then we can give some model quarks, so keyword arguments, so model quarks here, and a specified temperature here and uh, the amount, maximum amount of tokens I want to create. So uh, 200, so a maximum of 200 tokens, and more or less, a uh, token is one or more less one word. It's not exactly one word, but uh, that's just a rule of thumb for me. Okay. So we got this one as well, that is fine. And now uh, finally, of course, we can simply then run our chain. We can say chain is equal to LLM chain. So the chain itself, the prompt is uh, in this case, the prompt and the LLM is the LLM and the rows is true, that's fine. So we get a little more output also in the terminal then. And then let's actually uh, 
get this as a result. Result is equal to uh, chain.run. So we run our chain, chain.run. And here I had a question, which is when to use bytes.io module in Python. When is it useful? Okay, that's just my question here. But of course, you can write or ask any question you have. Now, funny, of course, I want to print the result. So let's say print result like that. And then let's just save this. Okay, here we go. And that's basically our code. So this is the code so far, like this. So we just specify a template. We put this in a prompt template. And then we put, uh, we also specify a large language model. And then we run our chain with the prompt and the large language model. And then we just ask our question and print the result. So that's now the inference API. Just means that we are calling the Zephyr model here from Hugging Face Hub uh, without having any of this model stored locally. So to do this, now let's actually run this code. Let's say in this case, uh, Python, Python, and then uh, hub.py. That's what I named my Python file and run it. And then let's just see the output. And you can see that now chain is finished and we get an answer here. So you can clearly see uh, here's the answer. Bytes are always a built-in class of Python and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so that works and gives us some information. And that's how we can use uh, the inference API, as I said, for free. Of course, if you call this all the time, then probably the, you get some timeout or any kind of other uh, request error after a certain amount of uh, calls. Uh, but um, for now, and for some basic prompting um, and getting responses, that's it. And we can use it quite easily, as you've seen. So that's the first one. Now let's have a look actually at the second one as well. And the second one is actually quite simple. So um, what we need is a prompt and then the C transformer library. And of course, we need to download a model. Now, the models we can download, again, from Hugging Face, the open source models, and most often they're coming from the bloke. So the bloke is, I'm not sure whether it's one person or several persons behind this um, well account, but uh, kudos to him or uh, them uh, or her, uh, because uh, they provide a lot of um, uh, smaller bin files and ggfu, um, I think it's the abbreviation uh, for that, or the file type, but a lot of files we can download um, for open source models, and they are quanti quantized in parts, so smaller size, and we can run them locally. And uh, for that, I'm gonna use my prompt. I can simply say my prompt uh, here, or actually I can write my question directly. Let's do it that way. Um, so uh, we need here, let's say, uh, now we run it locally without uh, inference. And uh, what we do here is we can now call our model, which is the LLM, but this time we're gonna use C transformers, so tree transformers. And now what we need is two things. We need the model itself and we need the model type. So for me, I'm gonna use the Llama 7 billion model. The reason simply is because I have it locally already downloaded. So I can say the model is equal to, and now where is this model, the bin file stored? Well, in my case, this bin file is stored inside my, if I scroll up there, inside my uh, local LLM uh, folder. And inside there, I have this one, this Llama 27 billion chat, GGML uh, quantized. Well, this version here, I downloaded it from uh, Hugging Face. As I said, you can download this for free. And uh, after downloading, you need to save it somewhere and then you just need to point to this path with the C transformer. So you just say, okay, give me that in here. Control C, I just paste this inside. That's my file path in here. And then I can also specify or must specify actually the type. So I can say model model type is equal to, and here I specify it's llama, llama. Okay, so that is that. Okay, so we got our model and uh, this should be it. And now we can simply run our chain. And for that, we can, of course, we can run the chain, but there's also this, I'm not sure whether you've seen it before, but it, there's a, mo a new, let's say, syntax, which Langchain also supports. And this is this, um, uh, looks like that. So the chain is equal to, at first, we need the prompt. And uh, the prompt is, again, we also specified it actually here, this one here. So we would need this one again. Let me copy it and let me just paste it here, like that because this just means we can then comment this out. We don't need this one here. So I can comment that out. And instead we're gonna use uh, here prompt, the large language model, and then the chain itself, which is the prompt. And then we pipe it with the LLM. So that's the syntax. That just means first uh, use the prompt and then put this prompt into the large language model. That's basically the chain. It's a different syntax, but you can also write it like that. 
And if you do it, then you just need to, again, print the results. Let's say print, in this case, chain dot invoke. So we invoke the chain. And then in here, I ask my question. Again, the question is when to use bytes.io in Python, when is it useful? So that's a question, and we want to invoke this with the chain. So, and after doing this, uh, that should be it. Let me just save this for now. And then let's just uh, get rid of what we have in the terminal already. And now let's run this again, but this time using our local model instead of the inference API. So if I do that, let me just call Python hub.py again and run it. And then let's just see what result we get and how long it takes. Shouldn't take too long actually, but um, then we get also a result in here for the question we uh, raise here. And here we go. We can see that uh, here use cases are many, but there are some common scenarios where bytes, bytes are always particularly useful. And then again, hunting large data sets and streaming data and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so we got a response and you can clearly see it's a little different, of course, which is expected because of course those language models are different uh, by itself. And also there's a little bit of randomness all the time, but um, you can clearly see that we also get a result which looks quite good in my point of view at the first glance. So that's it, actually. These are the two options we have to use um, large range models for free, either by using the inference API, using a Hugging Face Hub, uh, which we did there with the CFIR model, for instance, and there are various other models as well, which you can try um, as long as they uh, are enabled for infer inference API. And the second one is to run them locally using C transformers and then just download the model first, then point to the specific path where the model bin file is saved and then you can use this inside your chains as well and get a response as we've seen. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If there's something you want to ask or comment, please do that. If you have not done so far, please subscribe to the channel to see more. And otherwise, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.